internet and sign language and uh, how this kind of came about is uh, one of the first days or weeks that we uh, came into being each other she actually introduced us in the conversation by uh, starting the first conversation and from there on out uh, I would always beat her to the door that we'd have to go through and she told me that I wasn't allowed to walk through until she was there so I definitely uh, I from then on out waited until she got to the door to actually go in even though I was there well before she was. Uh, let's see, the most romantic thing I say when we're just sitting there and he just randomly grabs my hand and I'm like, if I'm sitting on the couch, randomly grabs my hand and pulls me and does, twirls me around and starts dancing with me. Random reasons. He's only done that a couple times, but I still thought it was the cutest thing ever. I mean, Hannah herself, she's got crazy blue eyes. Like, insanely blue and she's naturally just so beautiful and she's got really long blonde hair and I love it so much. Out of all the guys that I have met personally, Jaden has been the only one that has been a gentleman to me who's been there to open the doors for me even before we started dating. We hardly knew each other. I mean, we used to joke around in, in high school and I said, you can't walk through this door until I come in and he would literally stay at this door until I came into this classroom and he would wait every single day and even if I wasn't there he would wait and he would sometimes even be late to class and I just <laughs> the way he's with his family is just the way that I want my family the way he treats his mother the way he treats his sisters it's what I want in my future husband the way that Every time he looks at me, I mean, sometimes he tells me that I look beautiful, even if I look, think I feel ugly. I mean, I'll be wearing um, no makeup, my hair is a mess, you know, and he always tells me you're beautiful no matter what. But that moment, every time when I walk out and I'm all dressed up and have makeup on, he always just sits there and he stares at me for a couple of minutes, and I know then that he's just taking it on. <laughs> He's just the perfect guy for me. Not for anyone, just for me. <laughs> Hannah is just such an amazing woman. And her sense of humor caught me right off the bat. And that's what really spiked my interest with her. She was extremely funny. She really loved the things that I like to do. And she was one of the few girls I've ever met to really like comic books, video games, things like that. She was just the perfect woman. Uh, <laughs> But ever since then, I got more and more to know her, and I knew that there were soft sides, spicy sides, things to that, and everything about her just sparked an interest in me, and I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. Every day, we're gonna wake up, and I will always give her a good morning kiss, everything along the lines, and uh, every night, we'll at least spend some time with each other in the, in the night on a happy note. Get the world now, we won't let them see. But there's one thing left to do. Now that the weight has lifted, and love has surely shifted my way. Never be close enough for me to feel like I am close enough to you. You wear white and I wear out the words I love you, and you're beautiful. Now that the wait is over, and love has finally showed her my. Marry me. 
Could we have everybody please stand? gives us bride away. <laughs> Hannah and Jada, family and friends, what a wonderful day it is to be here together to witness the joining of this couple in holy matrimony. You may be seated. Hannon and Jaden, as hard as it may be right now, I want you to take a moment and look away from each other and turn and look at all of your family and friends that are here today because of you too. Some have traveled some distance to be here. Some have come from cooler climates. Some have had to change previous plans that they had so that they could be here. But the one reason they are here today is because they love you and want to share this special day with you. God, our Heavenly Father, has a plan of happiness for each of us. Through his Son, Jesus Christ, the earth was created. After the earth was created, Adam was placed in the Garden of Eden. Importantly, however, we read in Genesis 2, chapter 18, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him an helpmeet for him. And Eve became Adam's wife and helpmeet. Elder David A. Bednar of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints said, The unique combination of spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional capacities of both males and females was needed to enact the plan of happiness. The man and the woman are intended to learn from, strengthen, bless, and complete each other. James E. Faust, the modern day apostle stated, in the enriching of marriage, the big things are the little things. There must be constant appreciation for each other and thoughtful demonstration of gratitude. A couple must encourage and help each other grow. Marriage is a joint quest for the good, the beautiful, and the divine. Hannah and Jaden, you are here today to make a covenant with each other before God that you are willing to do just that. Learn from, strengthen, bless, and complete each other, showing a constant appreciation for each other through thoughtful demonstrations of gratitude. In the family, a proclamation to the world, it states, marriage is ordained of God, and the family is central to the Creator's plan for the eternal destiny of His children. It continues, the first commandment that God gave to Adam and Eve pertained to their potential for parenthood as husband and wife. We declare that God's commandment for his children to multiply and replenish the earth remains in force. As children join your family, they will bring great joy. There will be some struggles and some trials, and I'm sure your parents can share that with you. But they will bring great joy. As you raise and teach your children correct principles, you both will better understand the unconditional love that your heavenly parents have for you and the eternal potential that exists with the restoration of the sealing power in God's holy temples. Today is an exciting day for both of you. And it's the start of your journey together. Nothing right now could probably be better. 
But in the days and weeks and months and years ahead, there will be sunny days like today. But there will be some windy days and some stormy days. But no matter what kind of day it is, remember that you have made a commitment to each other, a covenant that you will work together, love each other, and with God as part of your lives together, you will be able to make it through whatever day you are having to the next one, to the next one, and to the next one. Jaden, you love Hannah, and Hannah, you love Jaden, and God loves both of you. That bond of love, when nurtured and cared for, will allow you to overcome obstacles that are placed along your path. That bond of love will allow you to enjoy the beauties of God's creations together. That bond of love will allow you to help and lift one another in times of sickness or trial. That bond of love will allow you to serve each other and also serve those you come in contact with that are in need of service. Be kind, loving, and attentive to each other. Don't harbor ill feelings or anger towards each other. Seek forgiveness and be quick to forgive. 1 Corinthians 11.11 states, Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. One final declaration of love from Dieter F. Uchtdorf. We build deep and loving family relationships by doing simple things together, like family dinner and family home evening, and by just having fun together. In family relationships, love is really spelled T. I M E time. Taking time for each other is the key for harmony at home. May you remember this day and these covenants you're about to enter into, that together you will go forth in love, harmony, and as a couple working together to lift each other up and helping each other to become all that God wants you to be. If you take each other by the right hand, Jaden Taylor Hill and Hannah Elizabeth Brewer, you have taken one another by the right hand in token of the covenants you will now enter into in the presence of God and these witnesses. Jaden Taylor Hill, do you take Hannah Elizabeth Brewer as your lawfully wedded wife? And do you of your own free will and choice covenant as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you, observe, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. Hannah Elizabeth Brewer, do you take Jaden Taylor Hill as your lawfully wedded husband? And you of your own free will and choice, covenant as his companion and lawfully wedded wife, that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Jaden Taylor Hill and Hannah Elizabeth Brewer. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you, Jaden Taylor Hill and Hannah Elizabeth Brewer, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and long life of happiness together. And may he enable you to keep sacred the covenants you have made. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You now may now kiss each other as husband and wife. I believe we have some rings to exchange. Before you uh, exchange those, I want you to take a look at the rings. You'll see that they're circular. And uh, it's kind of a, a symbol of the love that you have for each other, never ending, without beginning and without end, an eternal principle. You now may exchange the rings. I 
think we need another kiss. <laughs> so now as you look down, as you now play with your rings, as you do as a new married couple, <laughs> those rings will serve as a reminder of the covenants you've entered into today. The covenants you've made with each other before the Lord that you'll love, honor, and cherish one another. May I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jaden Hill. Well, I have to say first that I asked Jane, so I'm going to give a little talk. She's like, no, you're doing a toast. You're not doing a talk. So um, I've got my toast written out, so I hope it doesn't sound like a talk, but I do want to make sure that I, first of all, I want to just take a minute and thank everybody uh, and welcome everybody out to the event tonight. Jane and I have really enjoyed uh, the opportunity to visit with you and get to know you, and we really appreciate the outpouring of love and support for Hannah and Jaden. Um, and for those in the room that represent the Hill family, we would like to welcome you to our family. We're, we're very, very happy um, to have Jaden a part of our family. Um, you know, he's a great young man, and I feel very privileged. Uh, we feel very privileged uh, to call him our son as well. So, um, but as father of the bride and with my wife next to my side, um, I'd like to start the dinner with a toast to Jaden and to Hannah. Hannah, you're my baby girl, and I've watched you grow up since you came into uh, my life and, and your mom's life 19 years ago, and I must say that, you, uh, that I've loved and lived more deeply because of what you brought into, our, into my life, and I think that's the same for your mom as well. Um, and now you begin a new life. I'm going to put this down just a minute. Um, 
And now you begin a, a new life, and there will be another man to whom you will turn for love and protection and money. <laughs> Are ready for that one, Jaden? That's a very, very important thing So, to Hannah. But I want Hannah to know, um, and I want you to know, Jaden, that, um, that I will always be there for both of you. Um, Jaden, my daughter, is a princess to me, and she'll always be my little girl. And Hannah, you look amazing today, uh, and I've, been, I've never been more proud and happy seeing you shine today um, in your beautiful dress and, and just seeing that wonderful smile, and I love you. So please join me in raising a glass and toast my daughter and the man she's chosen to journey this life through, Jaden Hill. I pray that you will always talk to each other, forgive each other, serve each other, and take time to understand each other. Cheers. Next up is Nick or Jason and Jen, the parents of the groom. I did not write anything down, and giving the microphone to an attorney might be a bad idea. We love to hear ourselves talk. <laughs> Thanks, <Harley. laughs> I want to thank. Hannah's parents for making sure this beautiful day came together flawlessly. When I had my first baby, my heart was so full of love, I thought I could never love anything that much ever again. And then this little boy entered my life. And I knew that there was room in my heart for however many children I would ever have. And that's how I know there's room in my heart to add Hannah. I knew when Jaden was born that he would be my only son. And it's a good thing because he's my favorite son. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden has some qualities that I believe if the two of them work together, their marriage will last. First, you two need to have trust in each other. Kind of like the trust Jaden had in his Aunt Katie when he was stuck up in that tree. Second, she put her hand on his leg, he let go. <laughs> you guys need to be inventive and creative. You need to test your boundaries, but remember, sometimes that ceiling fan breaks. <laughs> you guys need to have love. For the longest time, I was the most important girl in Jaden's life. And now, he has you, and I'm happy to pass that torch. I knew that Hannah was the right girl for my son. When she came into the hospital after his lung collapsed, looked him straight in his face and said, I told you, stupid, you should have gone to the doctor. <laughs> Apparently, Icy Hot doesn't fix a collapsed lung. <laughs> And then following his release from the hospital, Hannah came to the Hill Family Ice Cream Sundae. We're a big clan, we're a crazy clan, and Hannah, Hannah held her own. She left Jaden sitting in his chair, because collapsed long, and she mingled with the whole family. She's welcomed each one of our family members into her heart, and we are proud to welcome her into ours. He'll always be my little boy, but I'm glad he's your husband. I'm going to do the actual toast. So. Jaden and Anna, uh, hope your love is everlasting and is strong enough to last for forever. Next up is the siblings of the bride, Katie and Nick. <laughs> Thanks.
Thanks for the one clap. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Anyway, um, I looked at Nick when they were telling us about giving a toast. I said, I, don't, I can't do two minutes. I have like 10 minutes. I, could give, I can talk about Hannah for like 10, 30 minutes if I could of all the embarrassing things that we've done together. Oh, no. <laughs> I asked her, and she said, don't say that story. <laughs> I was like, okay. But um, um, Hannah, you are beautiful. You're spicy. And you are, we have our, we butt heads, and um, I just, you know, whenever I think about you, I think about the times where we've moved so many times, and we've had to kind of stick together as siblings, and one of my favorite moments is when we moved to Logan, Utah, and we shared the basement, which was scary. <laughs> Me and Anna were like, why did we get the basement? But uh, we had joined bathrooms. And Hannah would get scared and come sleep with me. So my mom had to get a bigger bed for us because she would like to sleep with me all the time. But um, we, uh, you know, she'd want to play Polly Pockets at like 12 in the morning. So we get out the Polly Pockets and the Barbies and we're playing late at night without our parents knowing. And we're just hanging out and just having sibling sister time. And, and I, am, I just know that Hannah, you're just, you're one of my best friends. You always will be. I'll always protect you. And Jaden, I'm so happy to have you be a part of our family. I feel like the moment you step through the door, you were already a part of our family. Um, we knew that when Hannah brought you in, that you were special to her. And we just, I just want to say that I love you both. I can't wait to have some adventures with a new brother. <laughs> so be ready for us. <laughs> Here we come. So I am. Um, so congratulations to the both of you, and I love you both very much. I'm doing the toast? Yeah. Am I going to say something? Okay. okay, I can say something. Cool. I'm going to end it with the toast. I'm going to need my toaster. Right there. I know. I was actually going to hold up a pita chip and just say toast and then just leave it at that, but... Um, but the, the few words that I want to say um, about Hannah when I was told that I was going to be giving a toast, it, it was the one story that popped into my mind with enough force to be convincing. Um, and, and, and I don't want you to think I'm just going to like tell this really funny story because it's not a really funny story. It's probably one of the most um, influential moments that I've had in my life involving my sister, Hannah. And so um, four years ago, um, I chose to serve a mission for my church, and I served that mission in Oregon. And prior to that, um, my, my younger sister and I, we did a lot of things together. We would play games together. We would, um, we would go to the park. We'd walk the dogs. We'd do, um, we would do certain things together. And, and growing up, Katie, or Hannah and I, uh, we, would, we would butt heads a lot, like a lot. And, um, and by the time I went on my mission, things between she and I were really well. And I didn't notice, but in my coat jacket, um, when I went into the missionary training center, she had slipped a note in my coat jacket pocket. And, um, and I found that note a couple days later, and I read it. And what I read in, the, in that letter pretty much stated that, that she had observed the contention between she and I, and she took the initiative to fix that by taking an interest in the things that I took an interest in. And she smoothed that relationship over the way that she knew how to and the best way that she knew how to. And I just remember holding that note and, and dropping tears all over it and watching the ink smear because it was perhaps one of the most selfless things I'd ever seen um, up, up to that point in my 19 years of living. Um, and so I know, I know, Jaden, you're getting a quality, quality, quality individual in your life, and I'm excited to have you to be part of it, and, and I just love you so much, and you've truly, truly influenced me for the better. So a toast to these two. Oh, yeah, cheers. We were supposed to do that. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you.
Next up, the siblings of the groom, Kayla and Logan. Sorry guys, had no idea I was supposed to make a toast. Didn't think that I was gonna be able to. Um, I'm very happy for you too. I'm very happy to have another sister in my life. It's probably one of the best feelings to have my heart feel even more full. Um, because I was told to tell a story, one of my favorite stories is when Jaden first came home with the ring, he called me from outside before he pulled up, said, I got a ring and meet me out front and I'll show you. And I met him out front and he showed me the ring and I was like, oh, when are you gonna propose? He's like, wait, I haven't asked her dad. And goes, asks her dad and hides the ring in his room and I looked everywhere to find it. <laughs> Finally found it, went, oh, I'm taking a picture. Took a picture, showed my friends, said, guys, my brother's getting engaged. I begged my brother to let me go and see him get engaged to Hannah and take pictures. And he <laughs> told me no, repeatedly says, no, you're gonna ruin it, you're gonna ruin it. I had no idea when he was doing it. And then he came home nonchalantly, sat on the couch and said, oh yeah, show her your hand. And that's how I knew they got engaged. <laughs> I said, what, what was the story? What did you do? Uh, I got down on a knee and I said, will you marry me? No, that's not the story. And Hannah told me the story and she was so excited to tell it. And he's like, that's why I let her tell stories because she gets excited. <laughs> And that was my favorite, one of my favorite memories on the day that I knew that Jaden was extremely excited because afterwards, no matter what he tells anyone in this room, in his room behind closed doors, he was very excited to tell me the story and how Hannah hit her head when she came out of the little tunnel. And he was so happy to tell me that story. To the two of you, I'm so happy. I'm so very happy for you. I love you, Hannah, as my own sister. I know you're a sister-in-law, but that's not how I'm gonna take it. Uh, Jaden, we will always be best friends. We've been through a lot together, through thick and thin. And I don't know what I'm gonna do now because it's now it's gonna be Jaden, Hannah, the girls, and Michaela by myself. <laughs> so, but I'm very happy for you guys. And Mackenzie and me love you. I love you. <laughs> Madison wanted to say it too, but she's very happy right now. So, Aww. a lot of emotions in our Can family. But again? Logan's gonna make the toast. All right. Well, I was a little surprised to uh, find out I was making a toast today, but <laughs> I did uh, stroll through a few memories, and uh, the one that came to mind, first of all, was the day Jaden and I met. We were on our way to orchestra, and it kind of just came to be where we just started getting closer, to go or getting closer together and ended up becoming friends that year, and that was eighth grade, wow. <clears throat> And since then, we've been on many adventures from our tri deca trips to setting a fire alarm off in the gymnasium. <laughs> um, <laughs> and now I get to pass those adventures on to Hannah. And <laughs> she gets to go on all these adventures with Jaden that I really hope they truly enjoy. And honestly, that's all I have to say. So, <laughs> yeah, a toast to you guys and uh, cheers. Visible glass. My glass. <laughs> I know, I, I kept praising it to you and I was like, she didn't bring hers, I'm gonna bring mine.
Let's say 